I see you don't have that annoying knife anymore. So, does that mean you regret what you've done? Are you here to apologize and make nice? Peg for absolution, maybe? Because I might be interested in seeing a little begging. Alright, welcome back to Slay the Princess. And I guess we're doing chapter two again. Still confused about the whole timeline and what's going on. Because I know we wiped our memory at the end of the last chapter two. And so I thought we were on chapter three, but no, it actually put us in chapter one. And this time I slain the princess. Slayed? Slain? Anyway, so we're going to go up to this cabin again and we're going to figure out what's going on. This time I'm just going to talk to her. Um, again, yeah, we're remembering the last thing that happened. Um, this is more than deja vu, though. I'm pretty sure this whole thing literally just happened. It hasn't. Or if it has, I certainly haven't You been were a part of it, narrator. All right, proceed to the cabin. I'm done talking to him. I don't trust the narrator. Oh, warning. I don't trust the princess. Before you go any further. I don't trust anybody. What's she your will warning? lie, she will cheat, and yeah, she yeah, will yeah, she we've heard this be before. a problem. Voice of the cold. That's a new one. That's a new character. A new voice. The interior of the cabin is cold, a soft odor of dirt permeating the air. Cobwebs flutter in the corners. You can hear wind whistling outside, banging the shutters against the windows. The only furniture of note is an elegant antique table with a pristine blade perched on the edge. The blade is your implement. It feels like no one's been here for a long, long time. Like I've been saying, she's dead. We killed her already. Let's, uh, let's enter the basement. The door to the basement groans open, revealing an old banister and a creaky wooden stair. The room right below is nobody's here. Naturally. As much as I appreciate the optimism, you shouldn't be so sure. By the way, I purposely left the blade up there. I guess we'll just have to go down and see. As you descend the final step, Whoa, no. the form of the princess comes into view. A skeletal body lying in a heap on the floor, its wrist still bound to the wall by a thick chain. No. Okay. She's definitely dead. Well, I guess our job is a lot easier now. It's just like I told you. Before you have a chance to finish Whoa, your thought, what? the top of a head appears from underneath the floor. Two deep-set eyes stare up at you, followed by a mischievous skeletal grin. And finally, the rest of the body floats up to join the head. Wait, this isn't right. What's going on here? A g -g -g ghost Oh. Wow. How absolutely terrifying. What's a ghost supposed to do to us? Oh, it's you. Hiya, Keller. I was hoping to see you again. I have some issues with how our last meeting went. Now I just feel bad. The princess drifts across the room into your orbit, gently running her fingers across your shoulders and down your neck as she circles you. Her touch is cold and ethereal, Formless, yet real enough that her icy fingertips send shivers dancing across your I skin. really feel like I should apologize. So she has a body. And she's right there. We could probably grab her and kill her, kill her again, again. If we wanted to. We don't even need a blade. She looks fragile enough to me. I'm gonna wait and see how things play out. I see you don't have that annoying knife anymore. So, does that mean you regret what you've done? Are you here to apologize and make nice? Peg for absolution, maybe? Because I might be interested in seeing a little begging. Let's see, you can, you can kind of read through the options here. Um, see, I don't want to apologize and ask if I can make it up to her because she'll probably just murder me. Um, okay, I kind of like this one. The people who wanted you dead tricked me, and the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Let's team up. 
Let's do that. <sighs> Nobody tricked you. You did trick the me, narrator. The fact that the princess's spirit has risen from the dead should be more than enough evidence that she isn't exactly sweet and innocent. It's all been an act. She's pretending. I wouldn't say she's ever pretended to be sweet or innocent. Yeah. She does have a little bit of an attitude, but I can't blame her. We did kill her, after all. I wouldn't be nice to my murderer if I was killed. The hero has a point. The fact that you apparently botched the landing isn't on the me you're talking to, nor is it on any other version of me that you've encountered. You're using a lot of words to say a lot of nothing. Yeah. The enemy of my enemy. The princess circles you again, her icy fingertips trailing up your spine, sending shivers rippling across your flesh. I don't want enemies. I don't want to fight. I just want to go home. Is that really so much to ask? And just where is home, I wonder? I don't know where home is. I just know it isn't here. But I can feel it calling to me from some place far away. Wherever I'm supposed to be, it's out there. How? Specific. And how convenient for her. You see what she's doing, right? She's suggesting that the only way you can rid yourself of her would be to let her out. Which, in case you haven't been listening, will spell the end of the entire world. Well, last time I listened to the narrator, our world essentially ended. Um... What do you want from me? Uh, I died too and I'm not floating around like you are. What happened? Why am I different? Why are you different? You don't look dead, killer. The princess grabs your wrist, a sudden shock of cold flowing all the way up your arm, her eyes still fixed on yours as you try to squirm out of her grip. And you don't feel dead either. She lets go and pulls away. Your fingertips tingle painfully as the chill subsides. I think she likes us. I'm less interested in why you are, or how you are, and a lot more interested in what you are. Yeah, same. I've tried to leave on my own. Before you came back to me, I explored every inch of this place, even the spaces between the walls. But I never found a way out. I always wound up right back here. I just want to go home. I'm so cold and alone here. But you can come and go as you please, can't you? So, let me hitch a ride. After all, you owe me. Oh my god. Absolutely not. Is she asking if she can possess us? She is, and I hope I don't need to explain why you can't let that happen. It would be catastrophic if she managed to escape this place. And if you let her in, there is very little anyone could do to stop her. What do I do? Would she be able to see us if we went along with it? Now isn't that an interesting thought? We could finally bring her face to face with him. Who's him? I wonder what she would have to say to the one who wants her dead oh, so... Oh, the narrator? ...so badly. <sighs> you won't like how things play out if you go down this path. Um... What if I say no? Then I won't hit your eye. This would just be temporary, right? You'll leave once we're out of the cabin? If I'm able to. But for all we know, that's not how it works. Maybe I'll wind up stuck with you for a long, 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 long time. Not much like the sound of that. It's crowded enough in here as is. Yeah, that's for sure. It could be the best way to trap her for good. Doesn't seem like it would be very easy to end the world from inside someone else's body. That is a very dangerous train of thought. 
if if I let you in, do I still get to be in control? Sure. Why not? That doesn't sound very reassuring. Yeah, no. I can't believe you're even entertaining her right now. I mean, just look at her. Do you think she has good intentions for her murderer's body? Of course she doesn't. Yeah, I hate to side with the narrator, but I think the narrator has a point. You won't hitch a ride if I say no, or you can't hitch a ride. I'm sure you'd like to know. It's a shame I won't tell you. Will the narrator tell me? It'll be easier for both of us if you just meet me in. Then doesn't it sound nice? Maybe for her, but it's crowded enough in here as is. You won't have to feel guilty anymore. If you even do feel guilt. I do. Return, I need to think on this. Take your time. I know it's a lot to think about. But I'm very good at waiting. So the choice is kind of just reverted? Well, there's a lot of dialogue options here. I was told you're gonna end the world. I'm hot. You just, just believed that? You killed, killed me without giving it any thought? That's cold. That's rich coming from her. Every time she touches us, it's like we freeze over. I came here to do a job. right, though, but that's neither here nor there. What's done is done. What we do from this point forward is all that matters. Let's try not to let emotion get the better of it. All right, well. Return, leave it at that. I'm sorry I killed you last time. I shouldn't have done too that. Little, too late. Probably. She's not okay. in a position to bargain with us. You don't have to do anything you don't want to. We don't have to do anything, but maybe we should. We did kill her. When a hero slays a monster, does he apologize to it? No. So don't try to make things right. All right, all right, all right. Um... Well, this is a terrible idea, but okay, I've given it enough thought. Let's get you out of here. The princess swims through the air in front of you, pausing for a brief moment as her dark-rimmed eyes stare deeply into yours. There's a hunger in her gaze. You're really only trying to make it up to me, aren't you? Thanks for being a pal, killer. I mean it. What are you doing? Don't just let her in. How many times do I have to tell you? <sighs> See you soon. She rushes forward and then she's gone. A sharp chill spreads across your body. It starts in your chest, a freezing numbness flowing out from your heart all the way down your limbs, your mind growing cloudy and confused as it settles over your very soul. I'm not sure I like this. Can we get a do-over? I'm afraid it's too late to stop now. The numbness gives way to a stabbing pain, your muscles twitching and convulsing violently, each involuntary movement causing more waves of agony to ripple across your body. Okay, I regret this. You collapse to the floor, and everything goes dark. Come on, you. You've got to get up. I know everything feels heavy right now but we still have to get out of here okay maybe your this eyes is fine. flick back open as you get your bearings maybe your vision okay. swimming as so this is what it's like to be you huh disembodied voice narrating your every move so it doesn't work like that for you clearly it doesn't or she wouldn't have commented on it all these shards of broken glass on the floor are they also supposed to be you hey I'm not a shard of broken glass, I'm... It's okay. You can finish your thought. I'm... a voice? I'm me, is what I am. Who cares what we are? We exist. That's all that matters. You don't have to fight. We'll all be out of here soon. No, it matters. What we are matters. If I'm a shard of broken glass, then that raises some questions about certain other voices in here too. I'm clearly the same thing you are. 
they're not listening to me. Do they not listen to you either? No, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about him. You don't need to know what I am. You just need to know that I'm different from you. More important. So, you're the one who pulled the strings and made me dead. I can tell you don't belong here. You're barely even there. Like the shape of something left behind. You're more of a memory than a person. That's interesting. That's rude. You're kind of like me, actually. I'm just going to ignore her. You push yourself off the ground. The princess is nowhere to be seen. Of? Because I'm in here with all of you. Everybody knows that. I'm setting the stage. The room is empty because you made a spiteful, idiotic, and all-round foolish decision. Rub it in. You don't have to let him get to you. You're better than that. You're starting to make things right. Thank you, princess. <sighs> this is infuriating. Just whatever you do, you can't leave this place. It's not too late to fix this. Probably. <sighs> leave the basement. <sighs> Your legs, weary with the weight of the princess's spectral form and clumsy with the cold that still pervades them, stumble towards the stairs. I'm just trying to get home. You don't have to act like it's the end of the world. But that's exactly what you leaving this place is going to be. You don't know that. I do. I don't know that Wait. either. If she has a home to go back to, doesn't that mean that her leaving won't end the world? It doesn't mean that at all. It could mean that wherever her home is, it's outside of the world. Yeah, but it has to be somewhere, doesn't it? And if it's somewhere, then it's part of the world. I suppose it's all a matter of perspective. Where does the world end and something else begin? Does the distro- Against the backdrop of the inane conjecture of meaningless little voices, your body continues its ascent up the stairs, staggering through the open door. For how much you hate her, you aren't doing a whole lot to stop us from leaving this place. Maybe the bossy one doesn't actually hate me. Maybe he even likes me. Or maybe he just knows that he's been in the wrong. Maybe he's trying to make amends too. I doubt that. Not at all. I'll have you know that I do hate you, and I will continue to hate you for as long as I am able. It's just the weight of it all. It's too much for me to do anything other than describe and dictate. And whine. This body wasn't made to hold you and the princess. If you want to renege on your cataclysmically terrible decision a minute ago, well, you're the only one that can make that happen. Trudge forward. You continue slowly to the door, your feet like lead dragging across the floorboards, growing heavier with each step. We're so close. Thank you. Thank I've you. I've got to fully commit you. to this. If we get out of here, I won't even care that you murdered me anymore. You lift your shaking hand and rest it on the, the door the handle. World? But you pause before you open it, exhaustion sapping what's left of your will. Was exhaustion really the best you could muster up? It's over. There's no use stalling. Let's see what happens next. That's where I'm at. Shit. But exhaustion wasn't enough, was it? The handle clicks as you twist it. And then the door groans open. You collapse to the ground. You and the princess, free from the confines of the cabin. As you exhale from the effort, you look up and see... Uh, yes? Nothing. He's gone. And so is everything else. So we did slay him after all. He had it coming, I suppose. Slay the narrator. But what about us? Are we just stuck here in... nowhere forever? Did taking her out of the cabin really end the world? We're still here. Yeah, but that thing you said earlier, are we not part of the world anymore? Are we in some world that exists up? Okay, I've heard enough from these two. Let's see if I can pop out. Yeah, you're telling me. You feel a lightness in your chest as a pair of sunken eyes emerge from your body and stare up at you. I'm out. You actually freed me, didn't you? I'm outside. Thanks for giving me a second chance, killer. Maybe we did the right thing. I'll mention it. I think this is where I meant to be. Is this home? It's the hands again.
You don't get the chance to respond, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. She's gone. Where does she go? Should we try and find her? Is that a mirror? Why is it here? Why now? Um. Okay. All right. Yeah, so the memory from the first two chapters, the original, original first two chapters, came back. So now we could talk to these voices and be like, hey, it's going to be okay. But it feels so bad. Like, looking into it right now is going to be the end of everything. You don't need to comfort him. I'll see you on the other side. It's going to be okay. okay. If you say so. We'll trust you. Whatever makes you happy. Approach the mirror. You approach the mirror. Gaze okay, into reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. You've grown. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Proceed to the cabin. You are at the cabin. Approach her. Flickering lights in empty cityscapes become pockets of vitality and movement. I am more than I was before. Whenever you are ready, I will wipe your slate clean once again. Are you the same being as you once were? Or as you were before, how have you changed? Is a child the same as an infant? I am an unbroken pattern, but every vessel gives fresh perspectives and carves new avenues of expression. I am different, but I am the same. She's like Piccolo when he merged with Kami. Um... You have been kinder to me than anyone else I've met, thank you. Why wouldn't I be kind to you? You are the only thing I know that isn't me. What do you want me to bring you next time? Gifts aren't what someone tells you to bring them. My joy is in seeing what you choose. There are no wrong answers, and every perspective illuminates my shadows and shares new secrets. Do you have any thoughts on this vessel? This one is vaporous. She is a dream for a life she could never have. But that longing has given her so much capacity for kindness. She will make for an understanding heart. Do not mourn her. She will finally be able to hold what she never knew. So I wonder if when they talk about needing to go home and they don't know where home is, if this is the home that they're feeling, the longing for, like feeling what they need. How many more, how many more vessels do I need to bring you? If I am to be an ocean, you have nurtured me into a pond. My waters are shallow and murky, and I yearn for more perspective. You will have your rest in due time, and I am sorry for the burdens I place on you. I'm ready to go back. I will long for your return, but it will give me time to reflect on what I am. We will meet again. Ugh. Everything goes dark and you die. Back to chapter one. The hero and the princess. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin, is a princess all right well on that note that's the end of today's video thank you all for watching please like it if you enjoyed it i want these videos to do well i really enjoy doing them and i enjoy these types of stories support the video if you would and we will see you in the next one